If you've been looking for cheap and reliable coins over EAFC24, then please look no further than FIFACoin.com. As usual, they've got great discounts on their website and you can get an extra 5% when you use my code MARTAIN. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, MARTAIN88 here and welcome back to another end game tactics video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you the formation and the tactics that I get my coaching clients to use. I've been using it all year to great success and had obviously many, many people who are still with me. So that's been obviously terrific. Thank you for that. And it is the four triple two. Now, some of you will be sat there thinking, what's he talking about? Four, three, two, one's better, rah, rah, rah. And you might well be right in some instances, okay? However, the four triple two does work well if you know how to use it. And I find that to be able to teach people how to get better at the game. So it's a really good formation to use. Of course, at that point where people have improved or they've achieved their goal or they're happy with where they've got, then you can do what they like. But those fundamentals will always be with them, you know? Okay, so to start off with, defensive style, balanced, okay? I will, when I'm coaching, one of the biggest things that I am working on with people is how to apply pressure on your own, we don't need the game, yeah? We, if, if press after possession loss isn't in FC25, as an example, then it doesn't matter because you know how to do it on your own. We don't want to rely on the game. As much as possible, we don't want to. So how do we do that then? By using our own mind, yeah? And if you're playing the same way, you'll be in the similar situations time and time again. Your right stick switching, is it good? Yeah, that will get better and better if you're using a similar uh, formation because you'll know where your players are going to be. Also, your second man press, how to use it. I guarantee that a lot of you don't know how to use it, even if you're playing a very high level. That's something that I pride myself on. It's something that my guys get really good at and it allows them not to have to use press after possession loss, as an example. I think to defensive width, 40, stay nice and narrow, nice and compact, obviously. Uh, defensive start, uh, defensive depth, uh, 50, I just leave that, leave that be, to be honest. Uh, build up play, balanced, and chance creation, direct passing. It's so boring, but that's just not changed all year, I'm not going to be honest. Um, offensive width, 50. A decent bit of width in this uh, formation, so no need to play around with that. Players in the box, 7. I have corners, 2, and free kicks on 1, because I never put a free kick into the box. And it always annoys me that maybe uh, centre-backs have gone forward and stuff like that. I want people near us. You want to play it short and get playing, you know? Right, into the player instructions. So, I've obviously spoken about it quite heavily already, and I apologise for that. It's not intentional. But, guys, if you are interested in coaching or just getting better at the game full start, not necessarily this game, but just your fundamentals, whether you're new to the game or if you're really experienced. You know, I've got players in the elite division who have improved. Feel free to get in touch. The email address is on the screen below. Feel free to get in touch and get some info regarding coaching. Right. Stay back while attacking on the entire back four. However, that does not mean that the two fullbacks are staying at home. Nope, 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 nope. They are going to be going forward, okay? But we will do it under our terms. And they'll be going forward by eating up the grass in front of them. Because if you're switching the ball, you know, quite a lot, you'll end up with grass in front of you. Eat it up. Don't play it. Run into that space, okay? Also, with triggered runs. Use these two as a pair. Sterling and Zambrotta, Ashley Cole and Saka, they're pairs. Triggering runs between the two of them. Vary it up. Don't just always trigger a fullback and sometimes trigger the winger. Variation is what we need. So they are going to get forward. Then into the uh, two CDMs, centre. Really, they're just centre mids, in my opinion, the way that actually plays out. They're on stay back while attacking. However, when you do attack, they will be hovering you know, 30 yards from goal. And really, what they're there to do is they'll recycle the play for you. Yes, yeah? so you've got the fullback and the winger on either side, the two strikers. They're going to be pinging it. You might get it, see a hole, nip through that, or gets laid back into the CDM. They ping that ball first time, maybe like a driven pass, first time into the box, and you can quickly turn and shoot. Don't want to be taking touch, touch, touch. That'll make you predictable, Okay. Then up onto the two wingers, we want pace and we want trickery. They are on comeback on defence uh, to make us more secure. But then when we attack in, go, 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 go. And obviously we want to get them down the wing. 
If Sterling has the ball on the right, Saka will end up in the box of Son and Solskjaer. That's because they're getting to the box of crosses. And then, yeah, up top, have one of them um, on comeback on defence. It just means that when you are pinned back, one's just going to be slightly deeper, yeah? And actually, I, I train the guys to use that player um, to help defence. It's almost like a third CDM, you know? And leave the other striker just how they are, but on getting behind. So, guys, there we are. There's my four triple two custom tactics and player instructions. Hope that helps you out in some way. If it does, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.